What's good, world? Uh, 11.24. Uh, the Mike Brown verdict was handed down. Uh, not guilty. Um, just giving a public service announcement. Giving a public service announcement on um, you know what I feel and you know just you know educate the youngest following me, man, or the adults following me, you know, teenagers or whoever. Um, I ain't really like how they just put the whole circus around it. Uh, with the deliberation process, I felt like it took too long. I felt all the calm down and. You know, to be cool, sit tight, was letting the African American community know, like it's gonna be, it's gonna, you know, it was gonna favor and um, favor and um, Darian Wilson's favor. So that was kind of like a slap in the face. Um, that's one. Two. Another reason I'm doing this. I had a friend. He used to always, uh, he used to always do popular blogs on Prince P T V, and um, you know, just kind of talk with us. And let us know what's going on with the youth. I was in tune, but it was kind of enlightening to see somebody, you know, on my on my level of thinking about the youth. So me and him, you know, we shared a parallel as far as how we viewed the youth. So those, I look back, what he was doing, it was really informal to to somebody that wasn't, you know, informal. So you know, I kind of learned a lot from it too. So um, with me being from Chicago, you know, I seen violence, you know. The violence always been widespread, but to America, it's been kind of hid. So that's my whole, you know, um, my whole, uh, I would say, um, that's my problem with the Mike Brown thing. And um, any other situation, Oscar Grant, you know, um, what's the kid name? Trayvon Martin, um, Sean Bell, you know, you get these shootings and you get these these cases. And they, they it, it take for so long for the media to you know, cover the story when, you know, we got, it's like we always got to protest and, you know, get violent and uh, be nonviolent. And, you know, it, it's just unfair to African-Americans, uh, Africans, you know, people in the urban areas, the less privileged, man, you know, it's like we get the, we get the boo-boo end of the stick just because of who we is, man. It ain't, it ain't like, um, you know, no, no knock to Nancy Holloway, but you know what I'm saying? She went missing. They had SWAT teams. They had, you know, unbelievable technology looking for this girl. They, you know, they traced every track, every step of the way or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And that was just like a, a missing persons case, you know, just because our family had, you know, money. And that's kind of what America makes it about money, money, color, you know what I'm saying? So we, we see these transparencies and you can see them too. You can look at, you can look at, um, you know, you can look at, um, Scott Peterson, and you can you you can look at O.J. Simpson, like you know what I'm saying. Two different two different professions, evidence handled different, and everything. You know what I'm saying? You see what they did to O.J. They was gonna get him in the long run. Scott Peterson, they they doing interviews with this man on on, on NBC, like oh you know he got this background, this affluent background, this 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 Ivy League education. There's no way he did this. So you had some people saying he did it, some people saying he didn't. But it's just you know, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's a difference in how things are handled. You know, you can, you can see the parallels clearly. You know what I'm saying? So, my thing is, man, why do we always have to react and loot? And you know, I'm just defending the people of Ferguson, man. You know, every action calls for a reaction, man. That's just science. Science teaches that. So when you, you constantly treating people for, you know, you know, decades, decades, you know, you're gonna get a reaction. What do you expect people to do? You call it looting, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I call it an outcry for help or justice. You know, I see it from that angle. I see it from the black perspective, the urban perspective, the, the people from the penal system, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in jail ain't do it. You know, I ain't saying every cop that killed somebody killed the wrong, but I'm just saying you got to look at the facts. This man is, you know, Mike Brown ain't here to tell his side of the story. But, you know, from the evidence I see, it's clearly he was guilty. Um, this ain't a hate blog. This just to you know, man, teach people to try to, you know, educate the world that's going, to educate the ones that's been under a rock for you know the last ten, twenty years. You know, what I'm saying you making fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety thousand. Of course, you're not gonna see this. It's not gonna affect you. You know, you 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 in a different lane, unless you're making this type of money and still trying to, you know, be hood or whatever you want to call it. Um, so this for you guys. You know, you politicians. You know, what I'm saying y'all don't y'all don't see these problems. Y'all ain't on ground zero. 
You know what I'm saying? We come I come from an area where you know the average household income is probably less than twelve thousand. That's on the books. I ain't talking about what people doing cracking cars or however they, you know, getting it to get it, moving things, whatever they doing. I'm not talking about that income, I'm talking about the income that's on record. Um to my people don't know, um, laws protect property, man. So you, if you're wondering why Ferguson is being is on a microscope, it's because they, you know, they 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 affecting businesses, it's affecting property. You know, property value gonna go down. People gonna take white flight. People gonna you know leave out that community. It's too hostile. Racial tension too high. You know what I'm saying? And to our, to our African American athletes or Africans or whatever you call yourself from the you know from the Israel the, the um. 12 tribes of the, uh, the Hebrews, whatever you claim to be, whatever your, you know, whatever you circle on the census, um, man, y'all got a voice, man, to y'all influential people, man, y'all got to speak up on this subject, man, we got too many people, we got too much money, man, for this not to be, like, really viral, you know, the Diddy's, the, the, Le, the LeBron's, I'm talking about really heavy, heavy actively, like, heavy like active, like you know what I'm saying. Don't don't just brush it off. Or, you know, y'all don't even talk about it in the media, man. This could be y'all kids. You know what I'm saying. This could be my kid. I just had a son, so you know this is real personal to me, and I want to you know just you know express that to his people if they see this or anybody else to see that. That is personal to me. Like I care about life, no matter the color. So again, I don't want people to get this twisted or hate blog. I'm just trying to you know find a solution, and and if you don't understand why we do what we do in these predicaments this is why because i speak for these people i have a voice you know what i'm saying actually y'all need to start supporting people that's out here with a voice so we can prevent stuff like this you know what i'm saying get behind people i'm sure mike brown had a dream of some um just like anybody else or you might have a dream so you know what i'm saying get be a part of that you know to you police chiefs man hire your officers to come out and you know man you know do some good for the neighborhood you know what i'm saying partner with the the the, the, the sports community, you know what I'm saying? If you know you in a predominantly sports area, of, you know whatever people interest is, baseball, basketball, soccer. You know what I'm saying y'all, y'all arrange that. Y'all got the power to do that. Y'all the gov. You know ain't nothing y'all can't do. Build race relations. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a big disconnection between somebody coming from the suburbs going into an urban area. Hell yeah, they on they on alert. They gun. They itchy. You know all they taught is we the enemy. You know what I'm saying? That's what the history books teach them. They don't even understand us. It's a big generational gap. So, you know, um, if you got the old America concept versus the, the, the new America concept, it might, you know, it might work. But if you got, you know, two old concepts, like we don't like y'all, y'all don't like us, that's not going to work. You know, you know the outcome of that. You know what I'm saying? Two negatives never equal to positive. So, you know, some got to give. So, you know what I'm saying, man? Like I just said, man, support. Show to you. Um, get behind them, man. Don't wait for us too late to be saying, you know, free me or rest in peace me, man. If you ain't trying to prevent me from doing nothing wrong, man. You know what I'm saying? It, it started when, you know, when they're young. So to all the, you know, the, 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 the local entrepreneurs, get behind them, man. Because it only take a second for somebody to flip from good to bad in any situation. And, um... You know, if you if you have you of color or whatever you is, you know, you riding in the police, you know, let your friend that's good at negotiating handle that if that's who you riding with, because everybody got that friend that's a loose cannon, man, that could get somebody killed. I didn't, some of my friends and almost got me hit up, you know, and I can't I can't even if the officers would have did they thing, I'm gonna be honest, I couldn't even say like he was in the wrong, cause it, it could happen though, you know what I'm saying? We all just a a war. Uh, conversation away from war and peace, so you know what I'm saying. I do think dude was wrong and should have been um, convicted or you know what you want to call it, um, indicted. But that didn't happen, so I hope they appeal it and take it to the Supreme Court. But like I said, man, I ain't gonna talk y'all here off, even though I kind of did for ten minutes. But um, I did this in the memory in memory of my good friend um, Prince P. You know, Mike Brown, uh, you know, man, God rest y'all soul, man. And uh, you see this shit, you know, you do one. Take the take the Mike Brown challenge, man. Spread the word, man. I'll